Good morning. Welcome. Ha. Ah, the weather is changing. It's October. It's so nice to get a reprieve from from the heat of the summer. But I like all the different seasons, but it's great to feel it a little bit cooler. Well, anyway, this month is the power of zeal. It's my favorite one. And guess why? Because the color associated with with it is orange. People think I'm a little crazy, but orange is my favorite color. I have orange car. Um, the utensils in my kitchen cabinets are all orange. I have orange curtains and the, you know, the mixers and stuff. They're all orange. My favorite color. Now, I don't overdo it, but... That's why it is. But anyway, it's not about orange. But orange is a happy color. And that's why I believe it's tied with the power of zeal. Because zeal is about joy and happiness. And not necessarily happiness, but joy and enthusiasm and motivation. All of those things are what zeal is all about. And that's what we're going to explore today and next week. And we'll add it in with some other things. So before we get into our prayer, how are we all feeling? I know in Bermuda, um, it's been a very difficult month. We've lost, um, I think, 40 people in one month. Um, for an island of 60,000 people, that's a lot of people in one month. More, we only had about 35 throughout all the, before, um, through the pandemic and in one month. So I pray for the families and, and all those who are touched by this um, the sadness of losing family members. But we will persevere. We'll use the power of zeal to get us through this darkness and and spread joy even in the midst of it and a light our light shine. For the light is the love of God that is within each and every one of us. So light your candle in your soul to help heal you and all your friends and family as we move through this pandemic, as numbers seem to be going down around the world in different areas. Let's hope this is the last wave and we can start moving forward into a, I guess you can call it a healthier society that is um, not as um, dark as we've been feeling through this pandemic of the year and a half. So let's pray. Ah, breathe in and invite in the presence of God that is already within you to open your heart to feel that energy of love that is naturally within you, to bring forth the light where there is darkness, joy where there is sadness, peace where there is disharmony and chaos. And give thanks to God for all in your life. For God's got this and we'll get through this. And we know with God all things are possible. It's been a long road. But we keep moving forward and we give thanks to God for the strength and the perseverance and the faith and trust to keep on keeping on even at the hardest of time when we lose family members and friends. And, and this year I've known more people who have passed than ever before in my life. We sent blessings out to Reverend Joanna, who passed last week, and, and um, my stepmother's cousin who passed in, with COVID in, in Bermuda. And oh, all those who have passed. And then we... Give thanks for those who have had COVID and are better now. My cousin and some of my neighbors who I've seen out walking and cleared of the COVID. And we give thanks for that journey that brings us joy at the light of a dark tunnel. So we give thanks and blessings to the doctors and nurses who keep going, even through the exhaustion of this long pandemic. They have held the faith and do what they're doing. For that is their service that they've chosen, like we as ministers and many of us, to help and care for one another. 
So we continue to pray and send healing light to all those in need of healing, to our friends and families and co-workers and all around the world. We send healing light and love and we send joy in the midst of the darkness to lift us up, to lighten the load and know that God is with us each step of the way. As we breathe in, we give thanks to the mighty power of God within each and every one of us. And know that we've got this. That God's got this. For we are children of God, shining the light of God always. And we say, Amen. Amen. Ha. <sighs> As always, the daily word ties in with what we're talking about and what many of us are needing. It's entitled Faith. And we affirm today, through faith I create the good I desire. Through faith I create the good I desire. And the reading today says, Faith is my guiding light. Sure is. It keeps me hopeful when I'm tempted to doubt and cheerful when I might otherwise feel gloomy. Faith tells me that even when the sky appears cloudy, the sun is still shining brightly above the clouds. Faith gives me a secure footing in the present as I plan for the future. Faith is the assurance that I am never alone, that everything I dream and do is divinely inspired. Every step I take in the direction of my aspirations is fueled by faith and, that can, and they can come to pass. All of the wisdom, power, love and strength of God are mine to express as only I can, leaving Timothy and hesitancy behind, I use these divine attributes boldly and with confidence. Faith shows me the way forward. Sometimes I think the person who writes the daily words is, is telling me what I need to say. Or it's just We're just in the same wavelength. I love the energy of God that weaves through each and every one of us and brings us to that point when it said what needs to be said at this point and this power of zeal and faith that ties in in what has been said in this daily word ties in what I chose to speak about today. So I thank you ever wrote this daily word and to bless you on this journey. So anyway, the daily words, my fa one of my favorite um, verses is from Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. So have faith. Keep trusting in God. We are moving through this. We've seen every step of the way. Things have changed. We've had setbacks with this pandemic. It's just in life. But we keep moving forward. I see, I hear there's a tablet that Merck is um, pharmaceuticals thinking of coming out that may help many people um, who think they have COVID. I don't know how well they'll work. There's so many things that are out there. Good ones, bad ones. You know, we have to trust in God to guide us to the right things that will get us to the point we want. So before I go into my talk entitled, What Brings You Joy? You know, I like my questions and I haven't asked any deep questions in my titles for a while because I did the series and stuff. So what brings you joy? But well, before we do that, we're gonna play this song we've heard before entitled, God's Got This, because God's got this. So listen in. Can 
kind There's a first time a kid falls off that bike You know what they say, you gotta get a try The next time will be better than before You can best believe they got it, keep it score But God's got this, I know God's got this, so let go And if it all boils down to just one thing And it's the one thing that you know the Spirit brings And then we all join hands in life And then we all join hands across the great divide God's got this, I know Divide, the divide So let go There's a new seed for every garden grown But there's a deep need to make intention known But when you drop that thought into the soil You can best believe it's riding up with joy There's a rough wind that can weigh you down But there's enough good to keep you safe and sound And if you trust that that song i'm not a harmonica type person but that music is so appropriate or instruments are so appropriate for the words and the beat of the um, song with god's got this i know do you believe that god's got this even in the midst of this pandemic and all the things that are going on in our lives do we agree that god's got this we i don't believe we wouldn't have got this far without the end of it, um Doctors and nurses and all the people who've experienced who bring us medications and help and and people, scientists and all those who come from people. Some agree, some don't agree. That doesn't matter. But all of this is the mind of God through each of us to help us to go forward in life. And yes, there has been many setbacks and disagreements and fights and arguments and anger and all of that. It's all of... Um, humanity and people struggling to get back to the old normal. I don't want to go back to that old normal, but many people don't like change and don't want to bring it to it. But I want to get to that new normal that brings us more and more joy, where we stop and appreciate our families, our friends more, we spend more time instead of the rat race of running to, um, work all the time, work, 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 or, or you know, just dissing ourselves because, oh, what I have time. This pandemic has changed the minds of so many people to do things differently, and I pray that that's our new norm. So, as my title says, what brings you joy? And for many people, they've found new ways of finding joy, what they thought was joy before. 
in a job or something is not anymore. So, what brings you joy? Zeal, this power of zeal, is about the ability to be enthusiastic and passionate and motivated and energized and creative and to be inspired. And the list goes on and on about these different ways of of being spontaneously joyful. That's what zeal is all about. That color, for me, brings those feelings to me. When I look in my kitchen and I, I open a drawer and everybody else cracks up laughing and like, it's all orange. And well, when you open your drawer and it's all black or it's all silver, mine is orange. I see joy when I open up that drawer. So think about all of those things. When when you're um, looking at the news or headlines or listening to the news and it gets heavy and depressing, what do you do to bring about joy, to change the energy that's around you or your feeling or when you've lost somebody from COVID or whatever things? As many people die for many other things during this pandemic, as always. Um, what are we doing to shift that? And for me, a lot of times is um, because I go on Facebook, see head, um, headlines, and sometimes I get sucked in and, and, it, and I'm like, oh, and then I'll see some good news. And here's a few of the ones that I've, I didn't always read them all, but a few of the good news things I looked at. And there's a beautiful picture that says, pandemic leads to unlikely friendship between toddler and 99 year old neighbor. It was so great. The kids talking away, you know, toddlers, they talk about everything. And, and the ladies sitting there on the stoop and they're just chatting away about anything. And they've got this connection and that only came about because they had time. And another one I found was formerly homeless family gives back during COVID pandemic. And this family in 2018 had a rough time on the streets and an organization and helped them to get a home and stuff. And now they're in a good place. So now they're helping others pay it forward. Um, another one and I didn't know about this one, but it was really cool. Um, virtual, how virtual reality technology is helping seniors cope with isolation. They put those 3D cameras on it, and I don't know exactly what they um, watch, but it helps them to feel like they're connected to things. I think they're playing music and they're showing them different things or crowds of people from different places where their friends are, and so they're coping with that from isolation. And the nurses saying it brings that they're saying in the Nurses are helping them through and helpers are helping them through and saying it's really helping them smile and not feel alone. Cool, look at technology. I always think about how Zoom and all this technology being about during this pandemic has helped us to keep moving forward even in the midst of some of the darkest times. Schools are continuing from home. You know, at any other time in our history, this would have been a very, very more difficult time. So look at all the good news. Another one is a foster dad opens his home to kids during the pandemic. Isn't that great? And he has all these kids around him that he's taken into his home that were lost, who lost a family or were not up for adoption. I don't know the root ideas behind it but it's such a heartwarming story and my favorite one I've watched this one a few times oh my heart just opens up and I smile a sweet way little girl reunites with her big brothers after school I've watched this one a few times she's about three years old I believe I could be wrong but just take the use gist of this story and her brothers are go off to school each day and each day when she knows it's about time for them to come home she has to get dressed and her mom takes out to the sidewalk and she runs down the street and you know what's so lovely she had little steps of pedaling where her brothers see her and they kneel down with their arms open for her to row Go and get a big hug. Oh, my my heart just opened up. Now, these are things that bring me joy. And I'm sure there are so many other things. And I have a lot of other ways of things that bring me joy. But think about that because many of us are stuck with the news. Switch sometimes and find some things that bring you joy. And I thought I'll share a few of those with you. So, have you thought of anything that brings you joy? Outside of those, um, there are so many things we get so stuck in the news that is 
always bad news most of the time, we so really stop to think about the good that is still happening in this world, all over the world. There are so many wonderful things that are taking place, but they're so overshadowed with Oh, the bad news of the pandemic. What about all the people who have healed and gotten better? And those who are, um, families are reunited for different reasons. Think about all those things. And as I was researching for um, this topic, I found this from an excerpt from Your God-Given Potential, The Unfolding 12 Spiritual Powers by Winifred Williamson Housen. This is a book that many Unity um, churches and schools have. And and here's what it says. And listen to this. It's talking about zeal and, and joy and what a life can be about. It says, the same amount of zeal has been given to all. Think about that. We all have zeal. We all have joy in our hearts. Whether we want to bring it forth or not, it's there. How we accept it accept it and how we work with it determine the way it will work for us or against us there's always a yin and a yang so how is zeal or joy working for you or against you it's up to you zeal directly solely to selfish human aims may consume us with its heat and friction but in Enthusiasm developed as a spiritual attribute and dedicated to God's will and God's work will carry us to mountaintops of spiritual experience and help us immeasurably in awakening of other, the other 11 powers. We've talked about quite a few, but awaken us to all these tools that I call these powers. And she goes on to say, when you are filled with spiritual enthusiasm, you are joyous and energetic. Your senses are quickened and awakened to new life. And you have a new feeling of being vitally alive. Think about that. What brings you joy and how are you experiencing joy of, in your life? And how are you sharing your love, joy in the world and those around you? I hope it's that warm, joyous one that we talk about and not the selfish kind. So think about that spiritual enthusiasm that comes from truly grasping the power of zeal. So we have our revealing word that talks about joy and the meaning of joy for that. And zeal, I always interchange them because it's to me they're the same joy and zeal. It says, Joy means the happiness of God expressed through his perfect idea of man. So, as we said, we are children of God. We are, we are one um, expression of God. And we are that perfect expression of God. And that's the happiness of God that is in us from the moment we are thought of. Because we are children of God. Joy and gladness are strength given Especially if your mind is fixed on things of the spirit. Think about it. When you're sad and low, you don't have any energy. You don't want to do anything. You're depressed. But when you're joyful, you have, you're energetic. You will have strength to do anything. And you move forward. I was talking to a neighbor who had COVID. And she was in a bad place and wasn't sure if she was going to make it. Today, I saw her. She's smiling and so happy. Her son had came to visit her and she's got this smile on her face. She's totally clear of, of the COVID and, and strength is fusing through her, her body and her mind. And she's smiling and joyful and thankful for life. Think about that. The joy of the Lord is my strength. That's an affirmation I've shared before. Let's say that together. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Think about that when you're low and things don't seem to be going right. Think about the joy of the Lord and that will bring you your strength. Some other Bible verse from John 14, 13 says, Whatever you may ask the Father in his name, he will give to you. Think about it ox and it will be given to you and John sixteen twenty four says ox and you shall receive that your joy may be full see if we have faith and trust and just ask for what we truly want our joy will be given to us because our prayers will be answered and yes 
things don't always come. I always remind you the time in which you want it. I know I was talking to my dad and mom and they're, they're in the house and not going out very much because of the um, COVID spread in Bermuda. But they're hanging in there because they know the joy of the Lord will get them through. And their time will come when they can walk out and hug friends and neighbors. And it's all good. So think about it. Think about joy. God is the sum total of good and joy in our universe. Yes? Yes? I don't hear anything. <laughs> God is in your mind. It's a part of you. Whatever you desire to have in your life is good. It's the good that you desire. And that's what can be manifested in your life at any point. But you have to be full of love and know and trust in the Spirit and know that you have that love for all those manifestations to take place, to have the perfect um, health, to know all things are possible and to know you have great joy and power within you. That's when you know the Spirit of God within you. And you know, just know spirit, whatever you want to call it. So having a conversation with another neighbor and we were talking about God and some people, oh, I don't believe in God. And I say, well, just call it a tree. And I've always used a tree and they look at me like, oh, God is a crazy woman. But it's not about that word. It's about that feeling within you. And when you touch on that feeling and go in within you and get quiet and seek a different way from the thoughts that are monkeying with you at that point you'll find joy in whatever name you want to call it call it joy if you want and it will shift your conscience and lift you up and motivate you and bring you the zest and the zeal that you want in your life for all love is God in manifestation all wisdom is God all life and health is God all joy because it's all good and all power of good Think about this. All that is, it's a part of good. And we get to infuse it with joy because it is a part of us each and every moment in the midst of the darkest moments of this pandemic, in the midst of facing death for many people who felt like it when they were really sick, whether it was from COVID or anything else. We can seek to trust in God and trust in His Spirit and bring about joy in our lives to move us through it. Zeal. I'm going to say a little bit more about zeal before I close. Zeal is like flipping a light switch. You know, when I was talking about switching from watching headlines that make you depressed to headlines that bring you joy, it's like flicking a light switch. And when you flip that light switch to joy, your life is transformed and the light of God is revealed to you. Positive prayers reverse all anxious thoughts and uplift you. And your feelings are changing, you're energized in mind, body and soul. So flip that light switch and flip that light switch to God, as I've been saying all through this, so that you move through your life and your days with states of zeal and keep your inner vision focused on divine love and that work that is happening with you. And remember, always look for joy, even in the midst of darkness. God's love transforms any confusion about what's going on, whether I should get the vaccine, whether I should take the pill, whether I should go to the doctor, whether I have COVID, whether I don't. All the confusion I have turned to God and it will guide you in the right direction. I'm not telling you what to do, but all I ask is to turn to the presence of God within you. And that will transform your confusion into understanding, any anger into harmony, and any obstacles into order. We've talked about these 12 powers. So by consciously centering your thoughts on God, on the divine within you, within the kingdom of heaven within you, you get to see with divine eyes, walk with divine grace, and radiate with divine love. 
So I say to you, each day pray and realize the deep joy and zeal of living in the oneness of God. So what brings you joy? What brings you zeal? What brings you passion in your life? So let's take these thoughts into our meditation. So I want you to take a deep breath in and out. And in and out. Breathe. What brings you joy? Breathe in and out. Are you centered in your thoughts and in your mind about joy and peace, about harmony and love, about love, zeal and passion? Breathe in and out. During this time of meditation and in this silent moment, allow zeal to fuel your life, fill you with enthusiasm, And let your spirit run free in joyous anticipation of days of great health, great love, great peace and harmony. Open your heart to the good of God everywhere around you and be energized by the power of zeal within you. Breathe. And for this moment in the silence, feel zeal radiating throughout your being. As we open our eyes, we affirm, zeal propels me forward with joyful energy and I am awakened in life. Say it again, zeal propels me forward with joyful energy and I am awakened in life. So thank you again for being here. As we say the prayer of protection in closing, let the light of God surround you, the love of God enfold you, the power of God protect you, and let the presence of God watch over you wherever you are, for God is everywhere present, and all is well, and you are richly blessed right now. Amen. Amen. Namaste. Until next time.